when you're just trying to have a better life, you'll do anything. For this illegal immigrant couple, seeking that better life brought them from crime-ridden Mexico City to the United States, a journey that involved a three-day walk across the desert. It was tough. We couldn't see our feet. Well, we have to walk. And you said people would die in the desert and yeah. just, they would leave them. The, you have to leave them. Now they've been here for about 20 years and recently received a visa only after cooperating with law enforcement when their home was robbed. Even still, the fear of deportation weighs heavy. We have to be very careful. We're just trying not to go out when we don't need to. Do you feel like you're living in hiding? Sometimes, yeah. It's just one story of millions like it. In 2014, Pew Research reported 11.1 million illegal immigrants in the United States, many of them hiding in plain sight. And it's those statistics President Donald Trump hopes to change, from talks of building a wall to recently released documents from Homeland Security calling for a crackdown on illegal immigration. The president has promised to tighten border security, accusing illegal immigrants of stealing American jobs and increasing crime rates. For the first time, we're getting gang members out, we're getting drug lords out, we're getting really bad dudes out of this country. Trump is not the first president to crack down on illegal immigration. According to data from the Department of Homeland Security, President George W. Bush's administration deported just over two million illegal immigrants during his time in office. And President Barack Obama's administration deported two and a half million, excluding his last year in office as data is not yet available. That's more than any other administration. Psychologist Dr. Daniel Van Engen says deportations have led to a sort of mass hysteria. This fear of deportation is a real issue that's affecting a lot of families. Van Engen specializes in stress and anxiety and for six years has traveled to schools around the country speaking to counselors and school nurses about the major stressors students face. For the first time, he says fear of deportation emerged as a top concern. Nurses I've talked to have reported increased numbers of these types of symptoms among families who don't have legal documentation. He says for many it's the uncertainty and lack of control that causes anxiety. If life is based on the roll of a dice, flip of the coin, getting on the canoe and going whichever way the current takes you, you're you tend to have more anxiety and fear. Deportations or otherwise, CEO and president of Protect U.S. Worker Sarah Blackwell says America is in need of a solution to the issue of undocumented workers. I think the rates are a harsh thing. It's a harsh thing, but something has to be done. Either they need to give them rights or they need to make them leave. Blackwell defends American workers and argues they simply cannot compete for jobs with the often exploited undocumented workers. Because the employer can pay so little and expect so much out of the undocumented workers, the American workers can't compete. Blackwell says standing by the American worker is a stance often misunderstood. I think President Trump can help America understand that this is not a racist or anti-immigrant issue. It's about fairness and humanity. For this couple, America meant a better life, something they say they found the moment they crossed the border. But now they fear losing it just as quickly. We're not trying to take anyone's job. And we do what nobody else wants to do. We just want to work peacefully. Like, we're just trying to survive, to have a better life for us and for our children.